Hi guys, I'm Josh Ravenscroft and you're watching Railway Men TV. Today is the first game of the 2016-2017 campaign and the Railway Men are away at Stevenage. As you can see, I'm here at Gresty Road before we head off to Broad Hall Way, which is just north of London. In the past, Steve Nitch have only played crew six times, which is quite small considering the long history of the both the clubs. In those six games, Steve Nitch have won four and there have been two draws. The closest the Alex came to beating Steve Nitch was back in 2012 with goals from AJ Leach Smith and Ashley Westwood making a 2 2 draw. It was on that day we had. We had this white away kit, what I'm wearing, and a red home one. Stevenage played in white and red stripes. Kit was a bit of a mix-up, but we had to wear Stevenage's yellow away kit. And it was that day where Ashley Westwood famously, or infamously as you might say, kissed the Stevenage badge. Going into next season, people on social media, they haven't been the most optimistic. In a survey done by the EFL, crew Alexandra fans who were voted the least optimistic in the entire of the league to fans. But we'll see if that's a fair reflection on how the season will progress or if it's a different view and if we do well, if we possibly push for a playoff spot. My personal aim is a top half finish, but we'll see how that goes as time progresses. The next time you'll see me is a broad hallway where I'll be bringing you some of the team news and some fans' predictions if we can get words. Me, Aaron and the rest of the crew, Alexandra fans, on the official supporters coach, have already arrived here at Stevenage Football Club. The ground is known as the Lamex Stadium for sponsoring purposes, but fans know it more warm-heartedly as Broad Hall Way. Very modern, in fact. A nice little compact ground. Ticket-wise, we go, I don't know if you can see over my shoulder, to the ticket offices and crew, because we ordered in advance, where you can see some of the crew fans now. That, that's nice, it's friendly, it welcomes both sets of fans, and it was quite a good vibe. As we were coming back to find a place to film, we saw the players exiting the team coach and going into the ground just over there. Through the little gap just on the right of the ticket office as we're looking at it.